What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video because we're having an absolutely incredible day I know I am if you are press the like button otherwise no joke No scam a team of flying monkeys will come to your location Put you inside of a tornado and you will wake up in a strange land with nothing but little people around you singing songs about lollipops You don't want to go there. Trust me. Hey guys, what's up as you guys can tell from the title the thumbnail and uh, my excitement currently I've got a little update on Karen the last time I told you guys was that she uh, was launching an investigation around my neighborhood to try to find out who egged her house by like knocking on people's doors and uh uh, you know, um, looking in their fridge because magically she was gonna figure out that these eggs were the same eggs. Like, I don't even know how that works, okay? Mm -mm. Yes, judging by the eggshells that are in your refrigerator, I can justify that you actually hurled eggs at my house at 2 in the morning. But hey, that's just how Karen's brain works, alright? I I I'm not really too, uh, sure what she thinks is gonna go on, but that's just Karen for ya. And, uh, I've been paying close attention to the situation, just kind of doing my best to, uh, listen to what's going on in the neighborhood. I've kept my eyes on the Facebook page for the neighborhood, and I can tell you now, with confidence, lady and gentlemen, that not only has Karen pissed me off, she has now pissed off basically every single person in the neighborhood. And, uh, I'm gonna warn you, this, this is gonna be a doozy, guys. You guys are gonna get a giggle out of it. So, uh, without further ado, let's talk about my batshit crazy neighbor. So, uh, after I realized that Karen was going door to door and asking to look in fridges, I was expecting her to come knock on my door and ask to look in mine, and she just never did. Like, I don't know if she realized that it just wasn't worth barking up the wrong tree or what, but, uh, you you know, she never came to me and was like, Ryan, I need the truth. Can I look in your fridge? Like, she, ne she never really came and bugged me about it outside of that one time right after we talked, which was pretty annoying, but like, hey, what can you do about it? But apparently, she literally hit every neighborhood in the house, or every house in the neighborhood. Not every neighborhood in the house, you know, that that's a little backwards. And the only reason I know this is the entire Facebook page was alight with, is it legal for her to come ask me to look through my fridge? Like, do I have the ability to say no? I know it's the nice thing to do to say yes to let her look through my fridge for my eggs, but this is just weird. And, uh, yeah, I don't blame you a grown woman knocking on your door like hey excuse me um someone threw eggs at my house and now i would really love to look in a 57 year old man's fridge just to make sure it wasn't you it's like a really weird thing to ask but that's just karen and uh I, I guess people were annoyed with that but like oh well you know the lady's just trying to figure out if anything happened to her house we'd all do the same who cares that's that's what most people were kind of saying is yeah it's crazy oh well but hey she's not hurting anybody and that was until uh yesterday on the facebook wall all right so uh the kids in my neighborhood went back to school on Monday, all right? And uh, RIP in the chat, guys. If you're going back to school, I deeply apologize. I know your pain, and I want you to know that you will get through this trying hard time in your life. And, uh, you know, so people were kind of on the Facebook page, kind of being like, oh, kids go back to school. Haha, ha, so glad that they're gone. And, you know, I, I just kind of lurked the Facebook page, all right? It's a bunch of adults talking about adult stuff. But then after school, posts start coming in saying, hey, what can we do about this? And pictures and videos start popping up of Karen standing at the kids' bus stop with a sign saying, if you don't anything about the eggs let me know and parents talking about how she was walking up to each individual kid and like trying to interrogate them on if they knew anything about who egged her house this is like what i, I don't know a uh a, a, an old woman sitting at a bus stop with a sign being like do you know anything about the Angskins? Like, as far as looking like an absolute creeper goes, that's pretty high up there. And obviously the parents were upset, because, uh, when your kid's just trying to go to school and, I don't know, not get accused of egging somebody's house by a strange old woman who yells at people, th that, that probably is pretty frustrating to have to deal with. And yeah, it is pretty creepy that Karen was on the bus stop creeping on the little kids to try to get some intel on her criminal case, alright? But Karen is a verified FBI agent with the ability to do the most elaborate crime schemes to ever exist, okay? Okay, let's all be honest here. Karen is absolutely god tier detective. That's why she hasn't been able to figure out who threw freaking eggs at her house. Like, I'm sorry, Karen takes herself super seriously and acts like she's this metal detective with 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 the ability to sleuth anything out. But uh, if you're so desperate to solve your crime that you are sitting at a child's bus stop with a sign saying, please tell me what you know, you're not a very good detective, all right? Like, I don't think the police have ever been like, you know what, we got no leads. You know what we need to do, Jonathan? Pick up your keys. We're going to the bus stop, kids. Let's go. Let's go yell at some middle schoolers to try to figure out what's going on. Like that's just not what happens. And uh, obviously, parents were a little bit annoyed because they felt like their kids should have just been able to go to school like kids do. You know, they shouldn't have had to worry about some strange old lady with some weird vendetta for her teenage neighbors. But instead of taking the slight criticism on the chin, Karen decides that this is valid proof that, and I'm not even kidding here, the entire neighborhood is in a conspiracy theory to egg her house and make her look like a crazy person. 
person. So, like, on this post, obviously Karen's in the group because she lives in the neighborhood. And, um, you know, people kind of knew it was Karen, but it's one of those things where if you do something wrong, they call you out in the group. Like, they don't call you out publicly, but they're kind of like, hey, this is wrong. And you're supposed to just be like, oh, that's me. They're talking about me. I shouldn't do this. So, uh, obviously, Karen sees the parents kind of being like, wow, it's really creepy that you showed up to a bus stop to yell at our kids when they're just trying to go to school for the day. Like, you're not a super detective. It's okay that your house got hit with a bunch of eggs. Can you leave my child alone? Which, you know, hey, leave your kids alone, dog. Like, kids are off limits. That's just kind of the rules. So, uh, instead of understanding that parents are just a little bit upset that Karen is creeping on the bus stop, she writes an absolute book in the comments. And when I mean a book, I'm telling you, this entire post was probably pff, five, six paragraphs in response, basically saying uh, the following. I, I wrote down the highlights so I could read them to you guys. I think it's time I call this what it really is. I know all of you are conspiring to destroy my property and make me look insane. I can't believe the neighbors I once trusted was stooped so low as to form an actual conspiracy to try to take down my credibility in the neighborhood. I'm disgusted. Now at this point, I'm laughing hysterically. Like, does she honestly believe everyone in the neighborhood organized an event? We made a secret group chat with everyone's phone number in it and said, Ayo, you guys ready to meet by the fountain at 1 p.m. with our hoods on? And then went over there and said, how funny would it be if we egged Karen's house and then didn't tell her that anybody did it so that way she would look like an idiot and lose her credibility which Karen let me get this straight you feel like we're trying to destroy your credibility in the neighborhood by all being conspired against you but if everyone in the neighborhood is against you who are you losing your credibility with? Like, I, I don't understand. So at this point, Karen actually thinks she is in the middle of a JFK-level conspiracy, all right? Like, who shot JFK and who aged Karen's house? These are the mysteries of the century. Let's be honest here, guys. A lot of people have asked if we actually landed on the moon. A lot of people are asking what actually happened during Michael Jordan's break in baseball. Was he banned for gambling? I don't know. But the world's greatest conspiracy is, is Karen's neighbors actually trying to ruin her credibility? I don't I really understand what's going on here. All I know is that that sounds absolutely small brain stupid, right? So other people in the comments start arguing with her, and I, I can't put screenshots of those up because they said a lot of names of people in the neighborhood, and like, I don't want to leak any names, okay? Uh, because, I don't know, I just don't feel like that's the right thing to do. But basically, she starts arguing with them and somebody points out how ridiculous it would be for the entire neighborhood to meet together and conspire to take her down right and that's when Karen drops a real doozy she starts talking about how we've always been obsessed with her and how everyone in this neighborhood needs to just stop having a crush on her Karen listen listen you know me and you we've had our beef we've had our beef we have we have we really have and you know what I don't hate you. I don't. You've you've made my channel blow up. Big shout out to you. Big ups. Like, you know, you've made me real bank. Like, shout out, shout out Karen videos. You know what I mean? But uh, you're not pretty, okay? No one's obsessed with you. Nobody has a crush on you. I promise. Like, that, that's not an insult. It's okay. It's okay. It's just what you lack in physical appearance, you double down on being an ugly person. So, I don't know what you want to do with that information. I don't know if you want to take it to the bank and uh, put it in or whatever, but yeah, that, that's that's the truth. Nobody has a crush on you, and nobody conspired against you. You make yourself look like a crazy person and then wonder why people don't want to be associated with you. Like, you really went and thought, hmm, I should go to a bus stop and harass children on their way to school, and that will make me look normal. And then when people said, stop harassing children, your first thought was, huh, better say that they're all obsessed and in love with me and conspired against me because the only reasonable inf explanation for why someone would be upset with me stalking their children is if they conspired against me like the FBI conspiring to take down, um, I don't know, Fidel Castro, okay? Like, you're absolutely insane. So, uh, yeah, Karen's little feud with me that apparently was super personal and that she would never beef with anybody else in the neighborhood has now escalated and the entire neighborhood is slowly starting to realize even more how much of a psycho she is. And everybody already knew she was kind of crazy because, uh, people were already like, I'm so sorry you have to deal with her as your neighbor. And, uh, you know, she keeps digging the hole in deeper. Even up till now, she keeps posting stuff on Facebook about how everyone in this neighborhood is a terrible person and how she wishes she could move. And, like, you know what, Karen? I, I wish you could move too. 
Re regardless, guys, uh, Karen obviously has become a little bit unhinged. Uh, if you guys want to join our conspiracy theory, we're actually meeting in our pitch black robes by the water fountain to try to plan our next phase of the conspiracy theory, which is sending Karen to the moon. Uh, I'm going to be starting a GoFundMe to buy the rocket ship, so if you guys are interested, be sure to look out for that link. Realistically, though, guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will keep paying attention, seeing what Karen's up to. I'm going to try my best to keep her being a crazy person because, ah, it's entertaining. It's entertaining. I can't even lie and say that it's not entertaining. But uh, on that note, guys, I think that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the video. And, of course, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe if you're new. I upload videos like this every single day. Try my best to put out a good story time. I do updates on Karen as much as humanly possible. But, you know, if she doesn't do anything crazy, there's not much to talk about. So, uh, yeah, today's notification shout-out goes to Quentin Workman 2 Big shout-out to you for having on notifications. If you want a notification shout-out, all you got to do is send me a screenshot of your notifications on to my Instagram at Scrub and I shout somebody out every day. But on that note, have an absolutely incredible day. Don't get anyone pregnant, and if you do, make sure they're hot. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm out. Peace.